Welcome, welcome to another video. So today we've got another package, another little goodie arrived from Killer B. So, and uh, hats off to them guys, because they sent it, sent it over from the States on Monday, I think it was, and it was here on like Wednesday. Yeah, they sent me a cool new hat, merch, a new t-shirt. I'll flip the camera around in a minute. And most importantly, this little part, which is, you might have seen it on their website and thought, oh, what's, uh, what's the benefits of that? So I just wanted to give you like a little bit of a close-up video. And as you will have just seen in the time lapse, uh, that's me just whipping it off the car this morning. So it's, it's pretty simple. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get out of the box and show you what it is. There we have it. So it's a, a high flow water pump inlet. Now on the Subaru, I'll put a picture in the screen, but the coolant flows down the radiator from the top of the car to the bottom and most cars it's the other way around it goes from the top to the bottom so if you think it's coming out the top of the engine on the little crossover pipe through the radiator and then out the bottom of the radiator comes down another pipe which leads into this spout here which then has the thermostat in it and then it has the water pump which then pumps it back around the system so what's the benefit of this over the stock item this is the OEM cast piece. They're both cast, cast alloy. This one's got like a little bit of a Killer B Mark spot, you know, engraved into there. And anyway, same, the pipe's the same diameter on that side. It's got the, uh, you know, the, um, what's it called? Like a little, yeah, you know what I mean? That little beveled edge there, you know, to retain your um, silicon hose or your rubber hose, you know, with your Jubilee clip. But inside, if you look inside of them, look at the, um, restriction inside the actual OEM pipe so water comes through this direction and then into the water pump through the thermostat and then into the actual water pump well it goes this one goes off to the top of the um, I think one goes to the header tank and one goes to the camera and I'll put a picture in the screen but this one actually on my car this is the old pump off my car uh, and it has th three ports um, I've put the Spec C um, water pump on and it only has two parts, so this spout's removed. Um, and that's just, this goes to the stock Modine, you know, the oil, the, the standard sort of oil cooler. And it's also an oil heater because the water heats up quicker than the oil. So on the stock sort of road car setup, you have like a Modine, I'll put a picture in the screen, but it has a Modine and then it has the oil filler on the underneath it. Anyway, this goes to that Modine. Obviously, I don't have the Modine, um, so I don't need this spout anymore. So I just have the, the two-part water pump and a metal one. But yeah, there's the impeller and the water is fed. Can you see inside? You might not be able to see, but you can see where my hand's blocking the light. The water is fed up that way. So this is not for every application. Uh, there's no fit this and you're going to gain 20 horsepower and all that sort of thing. Uh, in some specific applications, uh, Nick was saying sort of above 8,000 RPM when, you know, so motorsport applications, high revving EJs, you're aerating the coolant. So the water pump is actually aerating, you know, because it's spinning a lot faster at 8,000 RPM. It aerates the coolant and then you get air pockets, you know, through the um, coolant system. So that's basically what this is to eliminate. He found by the, by smoothing out the, the sidewall and unrestricting the flow through this piece, it eliminated the aeration through the water pump. And then the obviously your little air pockets that you're getting from the aeration is causing heat pockets, which is then, you know, uh, causing uneven temperatures through the throughout the engine. So that's what this is for. But other than that, if you just want, if you've got an old one of these, 20 years old, plus some of them there'll be now, and you're doing a nice fancy fresh build, and you've got your nice two-part or your three-part, a nice new water pump, I mean, throw one of these on, it looks pretty uh, looks pretty neat. It looks better than that. They do a black one as well. I've crinkle-coated this in the past. This is just a stock Subaru one. But yeah, it looks, uh, it looks better if you put them side by side there. Bigger is better, right? <laughs> but I'll put a link in the description uh, of this video. 
I just wanted to do, it was only a quick video, I just wanted to show you, you know, up close. I know when I'm searching for things, it's always interesting to see what these what these things look like, you know, before you buy them. Uh, real world sort of uh, up close and personal. So there we go. That's, uh, that's what it looks like. Let me go and get it fitted. Oh yeah, stay tuned. Yeah, watch out for the next video because I've dug out, this is a Spec C uh, aluminium boot and uh, it's very light. So for the sprints, I'm gonna try and remove the rear wing off the car and I'm gonna make some sort of carbon thing with, with this. And also, the lightweight door, I don't know if you remember this off uh, if you will have seen on Instagram, less than a kilo. It's been sat on top of the shelf. I'm gonna fit it uh, and see if it blows off on testing. Because <laughs> it is uh, paper thin. Anyway, stay tuned for the next video and take it easy.